So you're playing against Library FTK, your opponents just spent 5 minutes activating the same cards over and over again until they finally whittle you down to your last life points, and now it's game 2. My question is the following, you have drawn Prohibition in your hand, what card do you declare as the name for Prohibition when facing Library FTK in game 2? So today I'm looking at preparing you for the worst thing you could possibly face in a GOAT format tournament and that is of course Library FTK. I don't think I've met a single duelist who actually enjoys going up against Library. That being said, I bring it up because I don't think people are actually preparing for Library FTK right now. It's a real issue! <laughs> I'm going to start off now by answering the question that I posed to you at the beginning. The card you want to name with Prohibition is Giant Trunade, and this is for two reasons. Firstly, as Prohibition is a continuous spell card, Giant Trunade would actually be able to deal with the Prohibition if it had declared another card. So for example, if you prohibited Library, for example, a Giant Trunade would make it so that Library could be played. But possibly even better than that, Giant Trunade is a key combo piece to Library FTK, and by declaring it, you are dual purposely stopping them from doing their own combos as well as removing your own cards. Giant Trunade is also an excellent target for your sided Cursed Seal of the Forbidden spell. Much like Prohibition, it will stop the combos right in their tracks. Cursed Seal is also noteworthy as being my card of choice for countering Library FTK. But there is one other card that I would like to highlight, and that is Cyberstein, because this is also a very versatile card, but it can still stop Library in their tracks. All you have to do is summon out Dark Bolter, and then you have at least two negates with your Dark Bolter by paying a thousand life points to negate a normal spell. That's it for the sided cards, but if you are playing a burn deck, for example, that contains Ojama Trio, if you have an Ojama token on your opponent's side of the field, it prevents them from activating Reversal Quiz as they will not be able to send the tokens to the graveyard for Reversal Quiz's effect. I want to move on now to talking about how relevant I think countering Library FTK actually is. There is no doubt in my mind that Library FTK is a powerful deck. However, it isn't played very often. The reason for this is that it is not fun to play with, and it's not fun to play against. There's kind of an unwritten rule amongst GOAT players that we won't play Library FTK, because if it did become the best deck, god forbid, then GOAT format would likely cease to be and die. <laughs> I've made this comparison on the Discord before, but I see GOAT format as like the Yu-Gi-Oh equivalent of Super Smash Bros. Melee. It's a very old kind of game that is more skill intensive than its later counterparts, which is why it has such a widespread appeal amongst its player base. If we were to look at GOAT format as the equivalent to Melee, then Library FTK is almost certainly the equivalent of Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is a character in Super Smash Bros. that requires little to no skill, or less skill at least, in technical play, and is less fun to watch from a viewing perspective, and while I don't know how fun it is to play with, I can certainly tell you that it is not very fun for the players to play against. And there's a similar theory out there that if Jigglypuff became the best character, then Super Smash Bros. Melee would ultimately become a lot less skill intensive and just a lot less fun in general, and the player base would stop playing it. But I'm getting a little bit off topic now, what I'm really trying to say is that Whilst you may not come across a Library FTK deck in a GOAT tournament, I would say it's essential to prepare for it, because we do not want a Library FTK deck to win a tournament. That would be a disaster. So you can play Library if you want to, but no one's going to thank you for it. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I have to say about Library FTK. Join the Discord for more discussions, and I'll see you on the next video.